Now, the certified most accurate forecast from First Alert Meteorologist Jessica Dobson. Well, we just got the most recent update in from the Storm Prediction Center just moments ago. We have been upgraded to a level two of five risk of seeing a couple of strong to severe storms come later today. So what this means is that we have a higher confidence. So we it's more likely that we are probably going to be seeing a couple of these isolated strong storms with the main impacts being heavy rains, some gusty winds, and now we can't rule out the possibility of a, a couple of tornadoes either. We are going to be expecting the, the chance of a couple of rotating storms, not looking at widespread severe weather, not by any means, but just stay weather aware, especially for areas in yellow, which is pretty much all of our viewing area. So here's the first part of this system. You'll see this broken line that's currently working across the Midlands area. This is not severe, and this is probably not what's going to be bringing us any sort of severe weather. We could see some gusty winds and some heavy rain out of this span, but we're going to really expect our chances to increase as we head towards later this afternoon and into this evening, likely right around sunset tonight. So we could be expecting winds even outside of some of the thunderstorm activity to be gusting up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. We could see a few of these strong storms and also some heavy rainfall. Beyond that, we're going to be looking at a very dramatic temperature drop. We're looking at bone chilling air compared to what we have been seeing over the past couple of days here across the Carolina. So as we continue to take you through the rest of today, here's this broken line that's going to eventually work towards the PD through late morning, falling apart as it does. So as we get closer to four or five o'clock, we'll see a lot of this rain begin to work into the area. You'll notice that some of these storms are even taking on a bit of that hook echo shape. So that's going to indicate that we could see maybe a couple of these rotating storms again not looking at widespread severe weather just keep in mind we could see a couple of warnings come later this afternoon and into this evening heavy rain will be likely as we head towards tonight overnight and into early tomorrow morning we'll still see some lingering showers probably a few hours on either side of sunrise and then come tomorrow morning some wraparound moisture will be possible before we really start to see an end to the rain and cold temperatures are going to be blowing into the area highs tomorrow only going to warm into the upper 40s and low 50s we are going to really struggle to make it to that 50 degree mark as we head towards tomorrow and once we factor in some of the gustier winds we are talking about the potential of wind chills in the 30s throughout most of tomorrow so just be prepared get the coats out now and make sure you're prepared for what's going to be happening tonight and also into our monday so looking at your beach seven day forecast we are going to be expecting windy conditions tomorrow much colder temperatures too 50s continue for tuesday and then by wednesday we slowly start to creep back up into the 60s but then we come right back down into the 